Welcome back. In this video, let's look at how to capture content from the web with AmpleCap. AmpleCap works on Google Chrome as well as most Chromium browsers. Check out the description for how to install it, and let's get into it. The easiest way to save a web link to your notes is to use the quick bookmark functionality of AmpleCap. On any web page, I can press Control Shift E and this will instantly create a task containing my URL. Quick Bookmark is the fastest way to save a web page to your notes, much like a Read It Later app. I can create a new note called Reading List and set that note as the target for all of my quick bookmarks. Then I can set up a task that repeats every week and reminds me to go through my URL collection and process it. And by the way, AmpleCap also adds keywords in the rich footnote that is being added to AmpleNote. These keywords are based on the content of the web page you are capturing, and they work with the search features of AmpleNote. So if I don't remember the exact name or URL of a link I saved, I can instead search for a keyword in the main search bar, or in the note itself with Control F or Command F. Sometimes I want to save a bookmark for different purposes or perhaps in a different note and even with different formatting. For those cases, I can press Control Shift A and use the multi step capture flow of AmpleCap instead. First, I will select Bookmark as a capture type. Bookmark is the most straightforward capture mode, it simply captures the URL of the current page. If you like working from your keyboard, you can actually use the arrow keys here to switch between capture types. Send to Ample Note is the option that saves my URL to one of my notes. So I will select this one for now. And in this field, I can change the annotation of the URL that will be added to my note. By default, this name is simply the name of the web page to be captured. But I will actually add a reminder to myself as well in this field. If I press Control Enter or Command Enter here, I can go to the next step where I can choose my destination and the formatting. Let's say I am researching a trip to Portugal. So I will create a new note in my notebook where I can save all of the destination ideas that I want to visit. As for the formatting options, I have three choices. Note body will capture my link as a simple paragraph in my note. To do item will capture it as part of a task. And bullet point will capture it as part of a bullet list item. For my use case, I will save it as a bullet list item and then press Control Enter or Command Enter once again to finalize the capture. What happens when I find another location I want to add to my travel list? Well, I can press Control Shift A again and this time all of my previous selections will already be in place. Bookmark mode is already selected. The destination note is now set to the note I just created previously and the formatting is set to bullet point. So all I have to do is repeat this process for every page I want to save to my trip planning note. But let's go deeper now. I made my travel planning note public so I can pitch it to my friends. Now from AmpleCap, I can select screenshot mode from the capture options. Before I grab my screenshot, I can also change the annotation to something custom. Nothing quite like arm twisting your friends into a trip using images of Portuguese desserts. Now I click next and I can select the part of the page I want to capture. I can save my screenshot to my travel planning note and this will update the public note for everyone. And by the way, this image was saved inside of a rich footnote. Anyone with access to this note can see the image as well as its source so they can browse through the same articles I've used for my research. But if you want the image to appear in the main body of the note, simply choose the Note Body Formatting option. If you are a person that collaborates with teams on web applications, the screenshot tool in AmpleCap is indispensable for offering feedback. To leave a comment to a developer, I can write it in this text box, then select the area of the page the comment refers to, and capture it as a task to a shared note. At the other end, the developer can then address my feedback and mark the corresponding tasks as complete. 
So let's recap the ample cap features we discussed today. Number one, press Control Shift E to capture a quick bookmark of the currently open page. Number two, press Control Shift A to open the main interface of the extension and customize every link you capture. Number three, select the screenshot capture mode to capture full or partial screenshots of pages. Number four, you can change the annotation, the formatting, as well as the destination node for your capture, regardless of the capture mode you choose.